everyone, welcome to The Daily Five at 10, your favorite five-ish minute Ashley update. I'm your host, Jasmine Chan. And I'm Zeke Samoy. Today is Thursday, September 22nd. And you all know what that must mean. It's Legwear Day. What? No, it's time for the segment that I thought needed no introduction. <laughs> Today is our Boy Spotlight with a very Slay special guest. It is Legwear Day though, right? It is. It's our COO and CCO, Joy Irvin. But before we can speak with Joy, we all have to find out... What's going on in the SLA? We have our CE course, Flood, WIO, NFIP, Excess, Wait, There's More! With Casey Roberts coming up on October 11th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please speak with your manager if you would like to attend. And now it's time for our much-anticipated Employee Spotlight. Joy, welcome to the Daily Five at Ten. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, long time coming. Yes, of course. So, for those of you who are new to the segment, we will be asking Joy the four main questions: Where are you from? What are you doing? Where are you going? And what is a fun fact about yourself? How does that sound, Joy? That sounds great. Awesome. So, first question: Where are you from? I was born in New Jersey, and I moved eleven times uh, before I settled in Pleasanton. So, I basically grew up in Pleasanton. My dad was in the Navy, so we moved around quite a bit. Okay. Do you remember during those 11 times, do you remember having a specific favorite place that you remember growing up? Uh, Great Lakes, Illinois. We had a, we lived on a court in Navy housing, and all the dads would go out with hoses in the wintertime, and they would water down the court. It would make an ice skating rink. Oh, whoa. That's, that's awesome. awesome. So I learned how to ice skate yeah, when I was straight, little. That's straight out of a, I feel like a movie or a TV show. <laughs> it was. Wow. Wow, that's so cool. All right, second question then. What are you doing at the SLA? I have, I've done a lot of different things at the SLA. I've been here for a very long time, uh, 19 years to be exact. And uh, way back when, when we were very, very small, um, I did things like plan the annual meeting. And to see the growth of the SLA has been amazing. Um, back in those days, I would sketch out something like the annual meeting, like on a napkin, like on, a, on the fly. And now today we have this beautiful studio and it wasn't that long ago that I used to spend uh, the Sundays before the Super Bowl watching James work out of my garage when we hired him as a contractor to do all the videos and the media. And uh, it's it's been amazing to see him hire such a great team. The two of you are doing an amazing job. You're such a huge part of the culture here. And, uh, and everyone else that works in your uh, department, your team is just an amazing team. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> So right now, I'm currently really hyper-focused on the employee health and wellness, this being a big piece of the culture here, um, the Daily Five at 10, and then also on our DEI initiatives. Our DEI, um, I really am passionate about a diverse workforce, equitable um, educational opportunities, growth opportunities within the company, as well as an inclusive environment. Yeah, I mean, personally, I feel like we Every time we come in the office, it feels like it, you know, everyone feels included, everyone feels, you know, like we all feel part of the SLA when, we're, when we come into the office, especially. Yeah, the, the last two years during um, when it was the pandemic, uh, we were very fortunate. Terry Moran was the chairman at the time, and she, um, she was very passionate about that our employees were taken care of mm -hmm. um, during probably the most stressful times of our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. And then the health and wellness packages, it's just all, it's yes. all very nice. It's all yes. very yes. nice working yes. here. It, it's not hard to um, to give gifts. Mm -hmm. It's actually super fun. Mm -hmm. And so um, the team that we have that sends out everything to everybody, they really enjoy doing it. And yeah. um, we get a lot of personal satisfaction out of making everyone happy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what do you like to do outside of work? Outside of work, um, I play softball. I play golf. I'm a huge golfer. Um, I just took up tennis, mm -hmm. considering pickleball. Um, right. And uh, and then I do actually a lot of volunteer work. Uh, my parents were very civic minded and they did a lot of volunteer work. And so it kind of spilled over onto me. Um, I'm a board member for Covenant House. They provide services for homeless youth. I am um, also involved in hospice. I do hospice volunteering and shepherding people through that experience. Uh, I foster dogs mm. and I have um, some little dogs myself. I know Jasmine has a favorite one. Peppermint Patty. Peppermint <laughs> Patty. She's a little spitfire. And um, I also have 
Ernest Borgnine and Marcus Allen for you football fans. And um, King George is my newest. Oh, King George. Yeah. And um, I'm also involved in my community garden. Oh, so like with fruits and vegetables? Or? No, um, no. So no tomatoes or zucchini uh -huh. like you would think a community uh -huh. garden. It's actually we beautify a path that runs oh. along um, a street in Walnut Creek. That's so oh, cool. It used to be a drainage ditch, and now it's flowers and plants. I'd say a much better improvement. It yeah. is. <laughs> it's better to walk through it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. Where are you going? Any future plans or goals? Um, I'm headed to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at the end of the month, but I've not planned any personal travel for the remainder of this year because I did go to Alaska and Montana and Tahoe this summer. So I have been on the road quite a bit. Um, if I do take a break, um, maybe around Thanksgiving, my favorite time to take a holiday, and I'd probably go to Kauai. Oh, wow. okay. yeah. Do you like Do you like poking? I love poking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you, when you go there, do you go to like Foodland? You're in. I haven't been to Foodland. Oh, Foodland's like the grocery store in Hawaii, where it's like it's pretty much like a Ralph's, but they always have poke there, oh. and I like it's like the cheapest poke, at least that I go to, and it's it's good. I mean, it's Hawaii, <laughs> so like, it has to be good, and it's the cheapest right. one I go to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I love all things Hawaiian, all exactly. the food. <laughs> the beach, all that stuff. So lastly, what is a fun fact about yourself? Uh, a fun fact is that I went to college on a softball scholarship. Mm-hmm, I saw that at the softball game, yes. The softball game that you won? Well, I don't, I mean, I, I uh, Really, I really, we're gonna it. go there right now? I brought, I, mean... in, I brought it to compliment you, actually, not to really <laughs> us about our victory. But go base one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you seemed very surprised you won. Absolutely was, absolutely was. Right, yeah. it was quite the competition, and uh -huh. it was very, a very close. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, though. It was a lot of fun. Um, but uh, I played uh, Division One softball for St. Mary's. Um, I went there on scholarship, but the fun fact is that when I was in high school, I wanted to go to Juilliard and um, play the piano. I played classical piano. Oh, so you had to pick the piano too. I did. There was always this tug of war between my piano teacher and my softball coach over what was going to happen with my fingers oh. if they got broken. <laughs> do you, Good to one or the other. Yeah. Do you still play piano today? I do. Wow. I do. I love it. It's um, something about the piano is you can't think of anything else while you're playing because I read sheet music. And so if you're reading sheet music, you can't have other thoughts. Otherwise, it disrupts the connection between your brain and your fingers. And it's almost like meditating. It seems, I would say, when you clear everything out, it seems it very relaxing. It clears everything out. Yeah. And so it used to be a habit that I was in to come home from work and I would just sit and play for like 10 minutes or so. That sounds so nice. Do you yeah. have a favorite song? I, I do have a favorite song. It was a song that I played for a competition. I, I can't even remember the name of it, but, um, and it was, it was my mother's favorite song. And um, when I would sneak home from college, I would sneak into the house and I'd start playing the piano. Oh. And she'd come around the corner and she'd start that crying, is, Joy's here! That, so is, that was a very good was, surprise. It was great. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately, we're out of time for today. And oh. Joy, thank you so much for joining us today on our favorite Esley Culture piece. Oh, thank you for having me. Of course, but the fun doesn't end there. Joy, would you mind sticking around for the daily gift away? I would love to. Awesome, so that means it's time for the Daily Gift Away. All right, thanks, Joy, for sticking around. Jasmine, what's today's national day? Well, Zeke, today's national day is Legwear Day. And today's winner will receive a $25 gift card to Amazon. Are those just your socks? Yes, but I've never worn them. Cinema roll. Oh, they are? <laughs> Sanrio socks. Okay, as you say, you say. Joy, would you mind picking today's gift away winner? I would love to. All right, as our guest of honor. And the winner is Jason Law. Congratulations! Yay! Into the winner's jar, Here you go, Jason. Don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at slakehill.com to claim your prize, or if you have any comments or questions about the show. And that's all we have for today. Replacing your daily work coffee break, I'm Jasmine. I'm Zeke. And I'm Joy. Thank you, and good night. Good night. You're the man, man. Thank you.